guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane, and today I'm going to show you guys the ROM that I'm currently running on my Samsung Galaxy S3. Uh, this is the only ROM that is available. It is the stock ROM that has been stripped. So as you can see, as I go through uh, all my screens, pretty much all of TouchWiz has been stripped from this. A lot of applications that are not necessary have been stripped. Uh, if you go through the applications, you see there's basically nothing there. Um, not a whole lot has been done as far as customization. Well, actually nothing has been done other than the addition of a new boot animation, which was added. This ROM is by Invisibleek. Uh, you can head to the link in the description to download the ROM. Uh, like I said, basically this just enhances the performance of your phone. It gets rid of all the extra crud that you really don't need. Um, it is rooted. There are two methods of installing this. You can install it through Odin the same way that we installed the root for our phone, uh, that would be the same way that you can install this, or you can install it via Clockwork Mod Recovery. So if you follow my root guide, you probably already have Clockwork Mod Recovery on your phone. Uh, so to install this, you can power your phone off. And we'll just quickly run through the install guide. Like I said, there wasn't a lot to cover in the ROM. Uh, basically, it's just stock with a bunch of stuff missing. Okay, so to boot into Clockwork Mod Recovery, we're gonna hold volume up home and power all at the same time okay and it's gonna boot into clockwork mod recovery as soon as we get this booted up there's just a few little things to do here to install so the first thing we want to do here is just wipe data factory reset so select that with the power button and you go down to yes delete all user data I'm not gonna do it now because I already have it installed so we'll go back and wipe cache partition go down to yes wipe cache and go back mounts and storage always like to um, I'm sorry advanced is where we should have been so go back uh, we'll go to advanced and wipe Dalvik cache go down to yes wipe Dalvik cache I'm just gonna go back and we'll go back again install zip from SD card Choose zip from SD card. Actually, we'll go down to choose zip from internal SD card. Go to download. That's probably where you downloaded it. And you're looking for the i535 strip stock rom.zip. And you'll select that. And then you go to yes, install the i535 strip stock rom.zip. So there are other developers that are working on ROMs as we speak. Uh, so we, have, we should have plenty of ROMs to flash. This can serve as a good installation guide if you're not familiar with root if you're not familiar with installing roms on your phone uh, this would be a good guide and you can pretty much follow the same instructions on all rom installations for your samsung galaxy s3 um, unless the developer has included other instructions pretty much that's how you install a rom uh, so from there once that's all finished you're just going to reboot the system and you will boot into your newly flashed ROM. So guys, I appreciate you watching. You can check me out at droidmoderx.com for the latest in uh, Android and technology news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. If you like this video and you want to see more on the Samsung Galaxy S3 and other phones, be sure to subscribe right there. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It helps me out more than you know. Also, leave your comments below. Um, thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.